What's up, all my inspirational tea sippers? This is Shantara, and I'm coming back to you guys with another video. Happy, happy Wednesday, you guys. I am just at the house getting some thoughts together on some moves that I want to make as far as boss girl moves. Me and my sister, we kind of like, first of all, I pray that you guys are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing, holding on to hope and faith. You guys, I just wanted to come to you guys today and just talk to you about a few things while I kind of maneuver in my room and make up my bed and pick up some stuff. So, I wanted to talk about, no, how about I just, I'll just sit. I'll just sit. Y'all know we are growing. My channel is growing and I am so, so excited. But I just wanted to come on here and inspire you guys and encourage you guys on today. I have a few things on my heart and I'm just gonna be open, honest, transparent with this channel and I always make sure I stay at the core of who I am. So with that being said, you guys, my channel is growing so I wanna ask you guys, uh, this is our channel. You know what I'm saying? Like if there's some things you want me to do or if there's some things you would like to see from me or hear from me, let me know. And if I am able and willing, I definitely will do that for you guys. And But you do also know that, and I talked about it, I think in a, a video here, with greater light and the more that you grow and the more that you are positive and you exude positivity there are going to be a lot of people out there that is going to have something to say no matter what it doesn't matter they're going to have something to say they're going to now having an opinion and being negative is two different things because you can always have an opinion you can always have an opinion that doesn't agree with what you're hearing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's okay. It's okay to have an opinion, but be respectful about it. And I've said that before. I repeat myself a lot on this channel so that we can all get it. It's okay to have an opinion. Well, I think this, that, this, that. Great. That, that's just the way that we can look into different perspectives and see things in a different light. That is the beauty of life. We all have choices. We all can make decisions. We all have our own opinions and all of that. My thing is when it's coming to be negative or you're trying to be funny or you're just being rude. With everything that's going on in the world, these babies are coming up missing and dead. This college girl just came up dead by her her roommate and hit her boyfriend. And, you know, um, this on the border, all those people and those kids and those families who got killed. It is way too much going on in the world. Too much negative stuff going on in the world. Too much negative stuff on the forefront. Mm, I'm spitting. That's how you know. I'm passionate. It's too much stuff going on in the world negatively to add anything negative extra on top of what we already going through. Me, marriage, kids, special needs son, food addiction, weight loss journey, Trying to find out, find my way, what I want to do as far as career wise. What am I going to do? What is the next steps? What am I going to do with all these dreams and passions that I have? You know what I'm saying? What am I going to do? Like, I, that's the lane that I'm in. Figuring out everything, figuring out, you know, what's next for me, figuring out all of this stuff. And with all of that going on, you don't need anything extra negative on top of that. And that could be from a mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, auntie. YouTube watcher, you don't need it. You don't need it. It's we deal with too much anyway. We deal with our own insecurities. My, me, my teeth, my flat butt, you know, trying to clear up my skin, my weight, different things. You know what I'm saying? Putting myself out there, not necessarily to be judged, but I'm putting myself out there because I know that I have a gift. I know that I was born to inspire and encourage. And it may not be the way you think that I should do it, but I'm walking in it and I'm only going to grow and get better at it. So what I'm going to say as far as regarding our channel, if you see a negative comment or something that you feel, you know, would hurt me or, you know, something that's just in a negative light, I'm going to ask you to report the comment and just get it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to keep this channel 100% straight positive in the negative Nancy's and those who have something negative to say can kick rocks. You are not welcome here, period. 
you're not welcome here. You're not welcome here. And I think a lot of the times you say, oh, let's just keep them on there so they can watch you, see you, be, be blessed. Not. No, no, I don't have time for that. I don't want you here. I don't want you around. There's no need for you to even look, read, comment, nothing. Because if you there's a comment there, we're going to delete you. We're the inspirational tea tribe we're going to delete you you're going to have to go bye bye this channel is growing and you already know they're going to come they're going to come they're going to come they're going to come you make a video about it i'm going to report the video block you all that is it's, it's time out for it i'm not going to allow it and i don't want you guys to allow it and i would ask that you take this into your personal life as well not just with me as a youtuber that you're watching but if there's people in your life that's negative and um you know don't add to you and it's not an additive and it's always taken away or you know i mean we got it's too much going on in life to have that type of attitude like we're all trying to make it we're all you know, trying to figure it out. We're all doing the best that we can. So we need to be a group of like-minded people. Yeah. Yeah. Like-minded people. Not a joke, not a game, not a nothing. So everybody else who's not with it, if there's things that I do that annoy you, there's things that I'm watching back on my videos, like I pop my lid or I go, uh, you know, when I'm talking or uh, when I'm very passionate because I have so much to say. This has been years and years and years of a buildup of a channel. You know what I'm saying? So there's so much. And so I'm trying to get my words together. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I'm nervous as hell recording, you know, in front of you guys every day. But I'm continuing to push because I know that, you know, YouTube needs more genuine. They need people that are, they need people who are relatable. They need people who are not faking and phony. Like, I don't want to watch a YouTuber who always got their house clean. I don't want to watch a YouTuber that every time you click on your house is spick and span, spotless, boot, bop. You ain't never got nothing out of place. You got two kids, but everything is impeccable. I can't relate to you. I can't. I cannot relate to you because my house looks a mess until about nighttime. Blocks, there's things everywhere. You know, we doing our thing and we living in. We got to be open and honest. I have to be open and honest. I have to be true to my core. The gum, I know that it bothers some people. Those of you who have uh, OCD and stuff like that, there are going to be things that you see that you, that cringes you. I'm going to ask that you not watch. I'm going to keep the gum. It is a blanket for me. I've already made an insecure video. So if you will watch my channel, so I know when people make comments like that, you don't know me and you don't watch the channel. You know what I'm saying? You don't, because I told you already, I have missing teeth. And so the gum is like a blanket so that you're not staring into these holes in my mouth. Yes, it could be annoying, but it's a comfort for me because I love to smile. I love to talk all mouth wide open, all that. And I like to keep it there just so that it's not, while I work on getting my teeth fixed, I've already started on the process, but it's costly. So it's, it's going to take a minute. So that is why the gum is there. Um, anything else as far as my editing and, um, my, um, and if I feel like chewing gum, I want to chew gum. I'm going to chew gum. So even if I get my teeth fixed and I still want to chew on a piece of gum and record a video, I'm going to chew a piece of gum and record a video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to be pressed by what you think I should be doing. Come on now. That's just, it's just not, it's not normal and it's not reality. It's not mine and I'm not going to make it mine. But that's what I wanted to say. Like, if you guys see the comments coming, if you see, just report the comment, just report the comment, say it's harassment or whatever, because no matter what, it still affects you. It still affects you. It affects me. It may not affect me to the point to where, oh, I want to quit YouTube or whatever. No, not, not, not to that point, but it does affect you in a way. And I don't think people really understand that. Like, why are you being negative? Like it's people out here like dying. These babies are dying. Cupcake, like all of this stuff that we are watching, people getting killed over a Popeye's chicken sandwich and stabbed up. And I mean, come. what else negative do we need? We got enough, my love. We have enough. We have enough negativity. We don't need nothing else. We don't need it. We don't need nothing else. We have it. What, what more, what more negative do you want? What more do you want to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. It is what it is. I'm working on my weight loss journey. Always working on my weight loss journey. I got on the scale today and I'm not too far 
I didn't fall too far off the grid, y'all. I'm only like three, four pounds up. So I said, okay, let me get back on it. I thought I was gonna be like 290 pushing 300, but no, 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 no. 283, okay, okay. Once I get out of these 80s, baby, I've been in these 80s for like pff, six months. Girl, you playing. But anyways, I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. So I'm working on that. I got my little um, Body Beast song. Got that on. Just, you know, really trying to get it together. And I'm just so excited for my channel. You know, I've been thinking about a lot of things and you know, to make money, you're gonna have to spend money. So right now, of course, I'm not getting paid for my channel just yet because I am gonna be a big YouTuber, you know. I am. I'm gonna encourage and inspire a lot of you guys and you guys are gonna do the same. And I want you to know this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave with this. Just as much as I inspire you guys, and it's not only for me, it's for other YouTubers too. The positive individuals and those who comment and love and rock with you and watch your videos and you know what I mean? It's like you have a relationship and a bond with them. That's appreciated because there's so much negativity in the world. So just know that you guys are inspiring other individuals too. You may not know it and you may not feel it, but you guys inspire me. When I see comments like, oh, hey girl, that was cute. Or, oh, that was a nice, you know, you chose something nice from your, your haul. Or I like this or I like that. That feels good. It feels good and it lets you know that you are doing the right thing and that you also encourage and inspire other people. My videos are never going to be in a negative light, in a negative me talking down on somebody else. I may have an opinion about something, which granted, I will, but I'm gonna do it in love. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have my opinion with respect. I can give my opinion with dignity, dignity. You know what I'm saying? And we're all entitled to do that, but just do it in love and do it the right way. Like, for real. Or if it's something that you feel about somebody, inbox them. Inbox them, send them an email or something like that. Or look, since I've been noticing this or that. Or, you know, no shade or anything. I didn't want to put it on the public. But, you know, if you can just think about some things and think about this, think about that. Sure, great. Sure, great. We can all learn and do better. We can all learn and do better. There's that pop again. I'm working on that too. I'm working on that too. But if it come out and it's part of the video, what can I do? If it's part of who and what's coming out and as I'm growing and working and... Y'all, I'm, I'm doing the best I can do. I'm doing the best I can do. 2020 is coming up. I hope you guys are excited. I know it's a lot of stuff going on, but start thinking about what you want to do. Start thinking about that passion. My passion is... To have a home with special needs like we've all worked special needs my sisters work in the field i've worked in the field i've also done group home which i loved it so much and really really adored the girls and it's always been a passion of mine just to be a leader be an example and to show them that not everybody is the product of where you've come from you know what i'm saying like i am not your mother who abandoned you. I'm someone who genuinely loves you, genuinely cares for you, genuinely, genuinely wants the best for you. You know, and so I've been thinking, I, I want to get a home and I want, uh-oh. Somebody's coming in here to start trouble. But, so let me hurry up and wrap this up. I don't have long. Okay. I want to get a home and I want to have like four high functioning clients inside the home and they go to the day program and then in the evening they come take meds unwind and all that i want to work with the mentally disabled but i want to have my own home you know what i'm saying my own home outside of the home that i live in that i'm renting or buying and so we've been doing some research today we woke up today feeling motivated feeling encouraged and i also would like to foster a few kids there are so many kids out here who need love genuine love genuine attention need a family need why not why not why not why not so i i that's a passion of mine i would like to foster possibly adopt if that is if that's if that's the thing and I would like to have some kids you know what I'm saying have kids so that they would that way they can experience a better life 
they can experience different things that I'm working on. So today I'm gonna figure out the licensing and what it's gonna take as far as the home and how does it work as far as getting clients like that into the home. So, you know, it's not gonna be anything major because I do have my own kids on the side. So I would like the clients to be high functioning to where they're in a day program all day and then we can just go over in the evening and um, me and my sister can switch off, go over there in the evening, pass meds, make dinner, get them all showered and bathed up and, you know, chill time and then maybe hire one person to do overnight. Well, I don't know how many people you would have to have for four clients for overnight. So I don't know if it's one or two, but um, yeah. So that's what I, that is, has been on my heart and I am, we're actively working on that now, like boss moves. Like I'm a stay at home mom. I don't really want to go back to work. I love being a stay at home mom. Like here to receive my kids i cook i clean yes it has its woes or whatever but for the most part where are you at <laughs> but for the most part i love it so why not make boss moves and we look at other people and we see them doing it and we see you know what i'm saying people like living their dreams like what is stopping you from living your dream question of the day you, you, me, us, we're stopping ourselves from living our dreams. We live in fear. Or we don't know, or that sounds stupid, or I don't think nobody gonna receive. Yes, yes. The Bible tells you your gift will make room for you and bring you among great men. Come on now. If God is for you, who can be against you? my god father give us the strength give us the courage give us the wisdom give us the ideas give us the dreams it's out there it's in you because he put it in you you know it's not a coincidence that we work with mentally disabled our whole basically you know what i'm saying it's not a coincidence that we love it so much i'm gonna give me a home with clients in it i'm gonna get me some foster kids i i, I we we have a lot of love to give this house is full of love oh full of love it's loud and if i'm able because i don't have to work i would like to have some more kids added dion and them age so that they can go out and have their time outside of what tj got going on you know what i'm saying so that's what i wanted to say today you guys regarding our channel so that's it that's all i'm gonna leave what i said right there if you see the comments coming in psh, report block boot we don't want you here we don't want you here we don't care about the gun we don't care about the clicking and the clacking it's gonna get better the um and another thing like uh the um thumbnails I, i'm still learning how to do that on my i'm watching the youtube videos but everybody goes so fast and it's like maybe today i'll click in thumbnails for dummies for filmora i have filmora 9 editing software so still trying to figure out how to make a thumbnail so god is gonna give me the strength he's gonna give me the wisdom he's gonna guide me and we're gonna work it out and you're gonna work it out you're gonna accomplish your goals you're gonna do what god has called you to do you're gonna live in abundance God is not giving you the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you all for having me today. Until the next time, inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good day.